It's a win-win situation. Bamboo trees thrive in almost all parts of Uganda, and they're used mostly for construction and car manufacture in the developed world. The Department of Agriculture Engineering at Makere University has come up with a pyrolysis system, which converts bamboo stems into vinegar. The stems are cut into pieces, which fit in the metallic cylinder before they are put in the rocket stove. After making fire in the lower part of the stove, the cylinder is fitted in and the top tightly covered to keep oxygen out. In the presence of oxygen, then the biomass that you are feeding will burn completely and will, en will end up getting ash instead of the biochar and the vinegar that we expect. After heating the required temperature, the hose pipe which is connected to the cylinder containing bamboo releases vapor which is condensed into water and ultimately wood vinegar. Water slowly turns from pale yellow to black as the process continues. Some gases are also released and the experts say they are not hazardous. The vinegar seems to have more uh, components. It has more uh, oils, which uh, for now we are still investigating. According to Professor Geoffrey Sear from the University of Kentucky in the U.S., vinegar has a big market and it is mainly produced in Japan. The wood vinegar that I purchased from Japan uh, was at a cost of 25 U.S. dollars per 550 milliliters. Very expensive product um, and uh, used for a variety of, of uses. I think that uh, because of the, the bioresources that are available here in Uganda, this is a terrific product for, for export uh, around the world. Five kilos of bamboo produce one liter of wood vinegar. This vinegar from bamboo can be used as a pesticide and kills ants and other insects. The, uh, the idea to, to export and uh, be a hub, a local hub for organic pesticides, this is the very important thing. People in organic farming, people, into, uh, people who wish to control pesticides without necessarily spoiling the environment, necessarily contaminating surface water, necessarily contaminating underground water. The residues after getting vinegar are called biochar, which can be used as an organic fertilizer. Red soil that we see so commonly in Africa, um, it's, uh, it's, that type of soil is uh, it's not good for holding nutrients. And so when we mix biochar with that red clay soil, it improves it greatly. This technology could help mitigate some of the challenges farmers face, like lack of fertilizers and pesticides. I think we should take it further so that we can package and uh, the farmers can see it on the market and use it. The future plan for the agricultural engineering students of Makere is to test the biomass from different plants to find out the elements that they contain and they will be subjected to a laboratory analysis to also find out which of the plants produce the best vinegar or complement the others. Sudilvia Ranga, NTV in Kabanyolo.